In this video, I'll show you how to create a word list. The first thing you need to know about word lists is that they are stored in your profile. If I go to my profile by clicking the my profile link, you can see that I have already created a number of word lists. To create a new word list, I click on the button create new word list and am presented with the new word list template. To create a word list, you'll need to give it a title. You can optionally add a description, and of course, you need to add words to the list. I'm going to make a list of words that may be helpful for high school students studying for a standardized test. I'll call the list Test Prep Words. I'll skip the description for now and start adding words to the list. You can add words separated by commas, undermine, profound, or by new lines, spurious. After typing in the words, click the Add Words button. The words have been added to the list and are displayed at the bottom of the screen. To save the list, you click Save this word list. The word list now lives in your profile and here's the word list I created. When I click on the title I am taken to the actual word list and you'll notice in the address bar is a unique URL created for this word list. If you want to share your word list with other teachers or with students, you do so by distributing the URL via email embedded in a document or as a link on your website. You can also edit the word list. I'll add another word to the list. Serene. Again, click add words or add a description possibly instructions to your students. And that's how you create a word list. 